Okay, uh, let's start with the drum kit, please, with the kick. Snare. Rack one. Rack one. Rack two. Floor. Everything. Thank you. Uh, bass. Guitar one over there. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind. That's nice. Keep going. Guitar two. Okay, who needs to hear stage right guitar? Anyone need to hear that in the wedges? Raise your hand. Uh, the part of the just a little bit on my side. Okay. Okay. Keep playing, please, on that guitar. Give me a thumbs up when he's good over there. Okay, drums, you need to hear that guitar as well. All right, do you want to play and then you two play together and give me a thumbs up when he's loud enough in your wedge.
Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog where tonight I am feeling a lot more confident with this console. This is of course the Behringer Wing Compact. I've been using this for the last couple of weeks, about a month now, and I've grown very familiar with this console and its many features. Uh, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching all of my content about this console. It really means a lot. Uh, tonight we have four bands, all their links are in the description. Every band tonight is using our house gear and uh, we have a house bass cab, our Epiphany. Uh, he's got a Line 6 combo amp, but instead of using our Tech 21, we have another guitar player over here using our crate. Uh, we have keyboards, backing tracks, three vocals, two guitars, and a bass. And of course our drum set is a Mapex Saturn 4 series. Um, Tonight I am using my own personal microphones for the kick and snare. This is a uh, Shure Beta 57A, quite possibly the best snare drum microphone I've ever used. And for kick drum we are using an Audix D6. And of course, ride cymbal is completely covering the ride mic. Dear drummers, why do you do this? <laughs> I mean, I can't play drums to save my life, so I have no business critiquing, but Jesus, I makes my job of getting a good sound in your ride, in your uh, floor tom, audible, much less sounding good in a mix. All right, so the mix is pretty straightforward. I have kick, drum DI in case he has a trigger, snare, three toms, and my stereo pair of overheads, bass, two guitars, two DIs, and four vocal mics. We're using three for this first band. I have a room mic right here that's obviously not going over PA. This is solely just for the stream. In fact, let me mute, mute that just to make sure. And we have my house, which is again a stereo input from the computer. Um, everything is pretty much set. I have my mute groups all sorted out with drums, guitar, bass, DIs, and vocals, and house. I've been experimenting a lot with this console, and I found that just the sock EQ and compressor is good enough for me. Um, if I try to use the uh, any of the onboard uh, compressors or uh, EQ, it just doesn't sound right to me. And it's more difficult to get sounding right in the PA system and you know sounding full in here. And I honestly just think that the, um, the stock compressor and EQ just works wonders. Plus, it's way more customizable. Four wedges, two sets of ears if needed, my reverb and my stereo delay for vocals and whatever I want. And my buses, I have a drum punch bus. So this bus is solely used for the wave designer. And that's just to make the drums more punchy. And that's all I use it for. Uh, this is a, um, this isn't a subgroup. It's just a stereo bus that I send the drums to to get a little more punchy in the mix. I have a guitar uh, subgroup and this has a multi-band compressor on it just to tame the low end so the guitars don't sound muddy. And I have a uh, vocal subgroup where I just have more EQ on it to just help with how loud that stage is with the cymbals. As you can see right here in the high end right here, around 6K and 10K. The cymbals bleed through the vocal mics a lot and we just gotta tame that. Uh, our stage is only 10 feet back and when a vocalist is up there, he's no more than three feet away from the cymbals. So my vocal mics up there, if I have three going, they're basically like giant overheads. Um, anyway, my main is right here for the PA. I have a bar feed and I have the stream, which is what you guys are going to hear. Let's go with my master bus real quick. I have the SSL bus compressor and this just glues everything together. It sounds lovely. Um, I should also add, I know we're going all over the place, but the bass guitar is the only instance where I have one of the an analog emulators and I have the um, distressor. Uh, compress here just because it sounds amazing on bass on bass guitars anyway so on my master chain i have the ssl bus comp i have a multi-band compressor just to tame any peaks i may find and on my stream mix i have uh an eq just to tame the muddy frequencies right here and what you guys are going to hear this is the seeker weapon here this is called the enhancer and what basically what it does is it, it's a stereo exciter and it just enhances the full sound you guys are going to hear that uh coming up so the first band's here and uh everyone's sound check we're ready to go let's go to the show
I now am confident that I can use this board here every day and my mixes are going to sound fantastic. I have everything dialed in. I have my uh, scene saved on this console and I just want to say thank you guys very, very much for watching this content about the Wing Compact. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure working with this thing and I want to thank the guys at Behringer for uh, sending me this console. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.